Hi everyone, welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you love to watch more cheating stories. If you want to know how to get back your ex-girlfriend and boyfriend, click the link below. I cheated on my wife and was hesitant to reconcile because of my guilt. So, to cut a long tale short, we've been dating for two years and then married. My wife and I are both 26 years old, F. We were married for approximately six months before I started talking to a female at work, and finally, I made out with her, albeit we didn't have sex. Continue to see her, didn't do much other than kiss her on the cheek now and again, and would lie to her when he went to see her. She caught me lying one day, and it turned out that I had lied during our entire relationship. I was an alcoholic addicted to porn and had previously used prostitutes and girls from work. We are now separated as a result of one thing leading to another. She relocated to a different city, as we had intended. I ultimately grew tired of my existence and resolved to straighten myself out and make amends with my wife, who was also eager. Since then, I've sought counseling, and marriage counseling, spoken frankly with many people, quit drinking, stopped watching porn, and pursued other women. Even though we are still separated and live in different cities, we are improving. I'm sincerely attempting to repair the damage I caused by prioritizing her as much as possible. However, I am continuously guilty and miserable for causing her such pain and damaging our relationship. I, too, find it difficult to stop objectifying women. I'd like to stop and focus solely on my relationship and interests. Even when I'm not watching porn, I still objectify the women I see. I'm trying to be professional and not flirtatious at work because a new female joined this week, even though my wife wouldn't know. I don't want to make things worse, but the prospect of doing it again makes me nervous. We argued the other day on our supposed anniversary, she doubted our relationship, and while I was saddened by what she said, I had a strong desire for it to end. I know I'm not the victim, but the guilt is too much for me to bear, I have no friends, and everyone in her life thinks badly of me, as they should. I feel like I've done so much damage and shouldn't be selfish in pursuing her any longer. I believe I should end things today, even though it's not what I want, but it's the best thing to do. I believe that, despite how far I've come and how much I want to improve, I'm still not ready to be that person for her. I don't want to hurt her anymore, she is a wonderful person who didn't deserve any of this. So, what should I do now? Here is the greatest comments advice for this wonderful article that I gathered. The best thing you can do is practice self-control and avoid skirt chasing. Continue with your counseling. It is not hopeless. Maintain a professional demeanor at work. Never go to another woman and tell her your deepest marital secrets. Then they start telling you nonsense about their lives. After that, you throw a sad party. Then comes the cheating. Leave those women alone and go about your business, putting your nose to the grindstone. You're increasing your negative karma by lying, cheating, and objectifying. Do you have a strong bond with your wife? Or are you simply terrified of moving forward? Prostitution is a kind of human trafficking. Pornography is a ruse. Not every lady is interested in you. That's something to keep in mind. Also, keep your hands to yourself and your penis and your underwear. Life will be better if you stay on the straight and narrow rather than the long, meandering, and lonely path. There are no justifications. Please leave your wife alone fully, given your history of adultery, prostitution, porn, and addiction. She's young, and she has the opportunity to start anew with someone who will truly care for her. Even if she suffers from the divorce, it will be for a shorter period than continuing in this situation. Here, try to be selfless. Allow her to leave for her good. Stop dragging the dead cat around the room. Allow your poor wife to find someone who is a better match for her than you. Edit. I recognize that some cheaters are deserving of a second opportunity. But, in my perspective, those who truly want to develop themselves for their benefit are the ones that succeed. However, while, working things out, with his wife, Op admits to slipping for a new girl. He has an addiction problem and the capacity to cheat again. His issues are not something a woman in her 20s should deal with in her marriage. He's got troubles. And whether or not the wife stays, the cycle of objectification, addiction, and adultery will continue until he overcomes these difficulties. You're still focusing on yourself. It has nothing to do with you. Even though you were completely aware of the implications of your actions, you decided to injure her. You're not in the right frame of mind to be in any relationship, much less one with her. What is the most effective thing you can do? Leave for the sake of both of you. If you ever hope to have a future with your wife, you must devote your efforts to correcting your flaws through counseling. Yes, your wife will be able to sense when you've reached a point where you're comfortable with yourself and don't require external validation. 
I wish you the best of luck and a great future. I didn't cheat. My husband did, and I could tell when he stood up and earned my forgiveness. Another case of cheating. Friends acting as if it's not a big problem. I feel so alone and torn over whether to stay together or break up. It's been a week since I, 35, F, discovered that my 8-year partner, 35 per meter, had cheated on me. He started nursing school, which takes up every evening and every other weekend, and he got a BJ after class from another woman in his class once, that I know of. Because they are tiny classrooms, he'll spend the following year with this person until he graduates. He claimed that the other woman knew that he had a girlfriend but was unconcerned and took the initiative. I discovered in his journal that he, fell for a girl in class, maybe that's what I want, I don't know how to leave, and I don't want to harm up. He claims he was just journaling and ranting and that he isn't interested in this person. I'm fixated on him claiming he fell in love with her, but he keeps assuring me he doesn't care. When I told him about it, he lied for an hour and then said she gave him a blowjob, which was the end. I caught him texting other women around the second year of our relationship and a few other shady incidents of DMs and stuff like that over the years. We took a month off and attempted to work things out, but there were always challenges with trust after that. I've also gained a lot of weight in the last six years, and he's told me he's no longer attracted to me, but I'm his best friend, and he wants to be with me. I've had a significant mental block regarding losing weight, I've dropped a lot before, so I know I can do it, and I know that being slimmer would help attractiveness. I know I'm looking terrible right now, and I can sense his embarrassment when we're out in public. My low self-esteem makes it more difficult for me to desire to look after myself. Because of this, I barely ever desire to have sex. Anyway, we have a close friend group that includes another couple and his best guy friend, but they were his friends first. Since I found out he cheated, they've been downplaying it, saying things like, don't throw away a good relationship over a one-time thing, or, we're all animals and don't know what we're doing. That is something I'm afraid I have to disagree with. I believe we have developed humans, and he made several decisions that led him to cheat. But my pals are making me reconsider my decision to split up. My boyfriend is saying everything and apologizing, and he wants to work it out. He also admits that he doesn't always know what he wants. I've had that feeling from him throughout our relationship as if he's got one foot out the door. He's telling me that this is helping him realize how lucky he is with me and other such things, which is something I've always wanted to hear. I'm unsure what to trust. He claims he wants to see a therapist. He also claimed that the first time I spotted him texting other girls, he went a few times but did not continue. But, during the previous two years, he's made many personal growth changes, such as returning to school, which gives me some optimism that he can improve. I don't know what I want to do, and my friends, who I believe should be supporting me, seem to disregard my pain and act as if it isn't a big thing. So I guess all I'm searching for is some help. I can't afford treatment right now, especially if we break up. I recently purchased a home, and if we don't split expenses, we'll be in serious financial trouble. Over the last week, I've read a lot of things on here, and it's been very useful. I go through phases of rage, grief, and being so hurt that I can't breathe. A large part of me wants to try to work it out so that I don't have to cope with being alone and all the negative emotions that come with it. Thinking about him with other girls or wondering what it'll be like six months from now if he's with someone else and I'm still hurting makes me physically sick. I work from home, don't have any friends outside those in our shared group, and don't participate in any social activities. I'm not sure which is worse, being completely alone or remaining with him and not being able to trust him. I understand how fortunate it is that we are not married and have no children together. We only have four cats, which will need to be divided if we split up, but it also tears my heart. Please accept my apologies if this is a lengthy and rambling message. I just wanted to reach out because my emotions are all over the place. Here is the greatest comments advice for this wonderful article that I gathered. I don't think it was just a publicity stunt. You deserve to be surrounded by people who are proud to be with you and be seen with you. He has an excellent relationship with you, but you don't have a good relationship with him. Based on your story, I don't see anything worth fighting for in this relationship. It may be difficult to establish friends at first, but things are starting to open up again. Participate in dance classes, join a hobby group, and so on. You are deserving of better. Please accept my heartfelt apologies. Anyone who tries to downplay this should be ignored. Being duped is like having your house plundered while still residing there. Yes, you still have your home, but you're concerned about your safety what the intruder touched or took, and an overall sense of helplessness and loss of control. You probably feel the same way I did. Cheating completely upends your life and brings everything you know into question. Things aren't been the same since then. I believe you can get your relationship back to a healthy state. 
but only if both parties are willing to be entirely open and honest and devote the necessary time. Because it will take time, and you must have a clear vision to do so. I also believe that it is difficult for the cheater to make these adjustments if they never have to confront the consequences of their conduct. It is up to you to make this choice. However, do it on your terms. You are deserving of all the love and admiration that the world has to offer. Anything less than that is not acceptable to him. Consider what you'll need to see and hear to convince you to stay. Inform him of this, and if you don't see him following through, impose the consequences, whatever they may be. It would be best to consider your happiness, safety, and well-being here. To begin with, let me state the obvious. Best of luck, and remember to take care of yourself. You are deserving of it. For starters, your pals aren't in a relationship with either him or you, so they can't dismiss your feelings. They should date his cheating ass and find out for themselves if they're so concerned about him. And don't forget that you accurately identified them as his pals. They aren't looking out for your best interests. You're also not squandering a nice relationship. He's a serial cheater who has plainly stated that he isn't into you and is already involved with someone else. And if this Ow didn't care about his GF before, imagine how little she will care once she learns that you are aware of his situation and choose to forgive him, should you stay. She'll probably give him multiple BJs every day. You're thinking about your weight from a place of insecurity. You believe it is your fault and that there is no one else who can help you. I want to reaffirm that overweight people can find love in a long-term partner. Who knows, maybe you need to lose your relationship before you can overcome your weight-related mental block. It isn't easy. My fiancé dumped me, and I agree with a few of your points, such as working from home and having no friends. I carefully read everything and believe you should leave him. I know what some people have stated, but you will be completely alone, as you mentioned. That is also true. However, instead of viewing this as a problem, consider it a challenge that will compel you to improve your life and alter something about yourself for the better. Maybe you'll decide to go to a rock show, or something else, and have fun while meeting new people, one of whom could be your future partner. My point is that you should not let him limit you, instead, embrace change by viewing it as a positive opportunity to grow and love yourself. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Please tell me what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button. Keep an eye out for more cheating.